Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to our uh, Ruby programming language lessons. Uh, let me introduce uh, myself to you. My name is Hasan Zekir Alp. I'm a retired engineer. Uh, I've been uh, working uh, as a freelance uh, translator and uh, software developer. Uh, and uh, all these uh, Ruby programming language lesson series are free. And uh, you can uh, watch uh, and uh, learn and uh, quote uh, by watching this uh, series. Uh, as as well, uh, my uh, Python uh, lessons uh, are uh, already completed. Uh, you can uh, check this. Uh, and uh, I'd like to uh, say uh, something about uh, our development environment that uh, we've been using while uh, recording all these uh, lessons, all this stuff. Uh, I prefer uh, this time uh, use uh, uh, Eclipse uh, ID environment, uh, that means uh, integrated development environment. Uh, so uh, as far as it is uh, free, uh, I can uh, go on with this uh, utility. And uh, let's go on with our uh, uh, next uh, lesson uh, for the time being. Where we left, as far as I remember, uh, we have uh, completed uh, lesson 8 and uh, now uh, we're going with uh, lesson 9. Uh, by the way, uh, each lesson uh, will include uh, uh, 12 uh, files, uh, so uh, one by one uh, we'll go on them, we'll go on with them and uh, we'll run uh, that uh, code snippet so as to uh, see the result and uh, sometime I uh, make uh, small changes on the code uh, so as to uh, show you the difference of the syntax uh, variations uh, just uh, we can go and uh, see uh, here I uh, define a say a method so it's gonna uh, accept uh, words uh, asterisk words and uh, in this block, within this block, I would like to get it printed the minus, uh, printed the member with minus one index. That means uh, we'll start with counting at the beginning. And uh, I here uh, recall um, method say uh, with uh, such parameters, how are you? And uh, let's make it printed, let's make it run and see. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, minus one stands for uh, stands for that uh, we'll start uh, to count uh, the index uh, from the end. So minus one uh, corresponds to this minus two this one and minus three this. Uh, at the same time, uh, this stands for index zero uh, and index one and index two. And uh, we go on with our next uh, demo. I here uh, would like to show you uh, return values uh, from methods. I here define uh, some method so as to include, so as to accept uh, two parameters such as A and B. And uh, within this block, uh, I would like to uh, calculate uh, A plus B. And uh, this uh, A plus B will be assigned to uh, a variable named res this is and uh, i'd like to return this res value and uh, and uh, block ends here and uh, here uh, i uh, i'm uh, recalling here uh, some method with uh, these parameters this uh, for a and this for b okay and uh, the sum of uh, these parameters uh, will be assigned to a variable x so at the last line i'd like to uh, get it printed uh, variable x so when we run this code we would get we will get 28 so let's go ahead uh, go with another one so here uh, define a temp uh, temporary uh, method uh, that will accept a and b variables arguments uh, and uh, as a return value i divide it by a i divide a by two 
and uh, and uh, so uh, after the end block after uh, definition block uh, I assign uh, 8 to X and I assign 2 by uh, 2 to Y so uh, here I uh, recall temp method with uh, these parameters that I have uh, signed here and I would like to print it uh, by using put command so when I run this uh, 8 divided by 2 will give the result 4 okay uh, just uh, I would like to mention here that uh, it is up to you to sign here uh, or uh, you could uh, enter uh, the values for such uh, variables by uh, gets dot chump uh, uh, input uh, facility input method uh, you will remember that get dot chump uh, will uh, allow user to enter values and uh, let's go with another one uh, in this uh, example I define a squares method so as to uh, accept uh, ABC uh, arguments and uh, as a return uh, A uh, multiplied by itself uh, B multiplied uh, will be multiplied by itself and C also multiplied by itself uh, and uh, our block ends here and uh, here I, I assign uh, uh, an array here a squares array uh, uh, this uh, this is called with these parameters 2 6 uh, and 3 and uh, uh, after that I uh, get it printed by using puts command okay this is 4 6 and 6 times 6 uh, equals to 36 okay we go on with this one uh, I here uh, define a, a demo method uh, that will accept a and b parameters uh, a uh, I assign a uh, b minus 2 and uh, I assign b so as to be a minus 3 uh, and uh, ends the block and uh, I recall a demo method uh, with uh, these parameters uh, just uh, as, just by means of a small uh, manipulation in mind uh, we can we can see that one will be printed out okay I uh, here uh, define uh, a test uh, method uh, without any parameters uh, just uh, some manipulation uh, will be done here and uh, after that uh, I uh, try to uh, print the uh, result of test okay, okay here just uh, keep uh, the manipulation 5 8 minus 3 equals to 5 okay Here I uh, define uh, another method demo a that will accept uh, parameter a. Uh, I here define uh, a. Uh, this is the initial value uh, a equals to five and return a. Uh, and here uh, after return command I uh, reassign uh, nine uh, value to a and uh, my block uh, ends here. Uh, I'd like to get it printed the value of a in fact. Just uh, this is a, a symbolic uh, example uh, that would be uh, useful uh, for your point of view. Uh, okay, uh, that that gave an uh, error. In fact, actually, uh, uh, so far so good uh, because our value for a will be printed uh, as five here, uh, but. Uh, uh, I make an another assignment here, uh, so as to be nine a uh, equal to equals to nine. Uh, uh, this is not regarded, uh, so uh, a will be uh, five. Uh, a uh, a uh, will be printed as five. Just uh, I can do like this.
Anyway, uh, I will uh, come back uh, this example uh, afterwards uh, because uh, during my uh, uh, dry run uh, I change uh, something. I think it does not give uh, the correct uh, answer. Here I define a square method uh, that will accept uh, uh, x parameter, uh, and here uh, x times x is executed and uh, block ends here. So uh, here I uh, uh, recall a square method and uh, four times I recall four times and uh, it's gonna uh, print four high, four times of uh, high and uh, th there will be an empty line, there will be empty line and after that uh, four times uh, there will be printed uh, this. Uh, here I uh, define I use uh, two different uh, printing displaying method uh, one of it is uh, put and the other print uh, let's uh, see uh, their difference their uh, view when they are printed okay uh, uh, for this command after executing this uh, command uh, four times four eight uh, high will be printed okay four times four high will be printed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven fourteen fifteen twelve fourteen fifteen sixteen okay sixteen times uh, because uh, four is multiplied by itself and uh, here uh, I use uh, another uh, displaying uh, command here. Uh, this is uh, uh, equal sign and greater sign uh, uh, sign so as to uh, create an uh, uh, arrow, uh, right arrow. Uh, so uh, after executing this uh, command, uh, 16 uh, arrow uh, will be printed on the screen. Just uh, as you can see here. And here I define a uh, calc method. Uh, uh, calc uh, calc will return a plus a, a times uh, a multiply a, b multiply b, and a multiply b. Uh, so by uh, using uh, these parameters as a and uh, this one as b, uh, I will try to uh, print out the length of this uh, method. Uh, so just uh, here. Uh, make some uh, paraphrasing, some explanation here. Uh, okay. Excuse me. Okay. The length of this uh, method uh, will uh, give a three, uh, one, two, three, uh, and uh, we'll go on with this example. Uh, sorry, just I made a mistake. Uh, just to follow the correct order. Anyway, uh, one by one, we'll go into the end of this uh, course. Okay, I here define a demo uh, that uh, the default arguments uh, will be x uh, equals to 4 and uh, y equals to 2 and here I made an exponential calculation and uh, I uh, recall uh, it uh, by its name uh, with uh, parameter uh, 5 uh, so uh, let, let's see uh, the result So 5 times uh, 5 uh, equals to uh, 25. Uh, when I uh, say only one parameter is accepted uh, as the second parameter, uh, this is important here. And uh, 
I here go on with another uh, example here. Uh, this is my uh, new method, some method that will accept uh, asterisk uh, p as argument, and uh, it's going to be printed uh, p, the contents of p, and I recall uh, some method uh, with these parameters, uh, 25. This is numerical, this is string, and this is a logical variable. And uh, let's make it run and see the result. Okay, 25. Uh, hello and true will be printed uh, in uh, horizontal uh, vertical manner in uh, different lines. Here I define uh, another my method so as to accept ABC parameters. Uh, I here define uh, a variable so as to be calculated as a volume of these uh, three dimensions. Uh, and uh, I would like to get it printed. And uh, here I uh, recall my uh, method uh, simply by uh, writing its name and uh, indicating uh, the uh, factual uh, dimensions, dimensions for ABC. A, and uh, let's make it uh, printed. Okay. Uh, multiply of these three arguments, three parameters, uh, will give the result uh, 120, 120. Uh, okay. Uh, we have uh, come to the end of this course. Uh, in our uh, next course, we'll go on uh, with uh, arrays and methods uh, and uh, iterators uh, for the next uh, lesson. Uh, I would like to thank you for your uh, time. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my uh, uh, YouTube channel. Uh, as you know, uh, www.youtube.com slash user slash Hasan Zeki Alp. Thanks uh, for your watching and thanks for your time. Bye bye guys.